This is a full review of the Solar Post Cap Lights by Solpex. I'll show you an unboxing, a couple mounting options, and my overall thoughts. Welcome to Kyler's studio. Solpex reached out to me and wanted me to review these, and I thought, hey, I did that one project where I could possibly put these on top of. So they sent me a couple boxes. They thoughtfully included some instructions that I didn't use because it was so simple and straightforward. They include a bag full of screws and expanders if you happen to be putting it in drywall or something, and multiple screw options. The base simply just pops out using the four plastic pieces. And if you look real close, you can see this is a silicon-covered slider switch for the on and off. I noticed right away that there's an ambient light sensor built in that turns it on only when it's dark enough. There's no real physical screw connection between the base and the light, but it seems to fit in there pretty secure. I'm, I'm relatively confident that that won't be a problem. I was sent the four pack, so that was two boxes of two lights. Taking a look here, a little closer with the lights off. Seems like a solid light. Looks like there's a big LED ring in the middle and it seems nice and waterproof. You'll notice that it's designed to have the screws completely hidden once you mount it. Designed just to turn on and leave on, it will come on automatically when it's dark. But it's definitely designed to be screwed and then the top cover covers all the screws so nothing will get wet. This is one of those set it and forget it kind of lights. You set it on a post or on a stair, uh, you can screw it in pretty much anywhere, and then every time at night, as long as it has access to recharge from the sun, it'll be good to go. I tried these out, um, switching the orientation of the base, and they're all equally proportioned, so it's really pretty foolproof to be able to mount these. But that also depends on how you are mounting them. Are you going into wood or trying vinyl posts? So one thing I decided to do is take the base off, and to be able to read these on-off buttons, just highlight them with a marker. Just that it'd be a little easier to tell and they're gonna be covered anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now to installing them. Now you can install these in a couple places. I thought about putting them in the vinyl and that's what I ended up doing, but you can see that the corners are square and not rounded, so you may need to modify a little bit. In the meantime, I thought I would try it on these barrel light posts. I made a whole video on how I made these posts in barrels to string lights between for our deck. Feel free to go check it out if you're interested in that. So I mounted this base using the provided screws. The instructions seem to indicate that you put the screws in the protrusion part so you'll have four screws, but you could also use the other two screw holes. I don't see any reason why. It just depends on the material you're putting it in, I suppose. So you just screw them in and then the light, without any tools, just posts in the top just squeezes onto the plastic and that's it. On this other post, I just used the two screw holes in the middle to screw it down and it held just fine. So if you have fence posts that are away from a power source that you want lit up all the time and don't care about having control over them, then these work great. In this situation, they're up so high, they're not really lighting anything. And with the other control that I have over these lights, it didn't make as much sense. So I decided to put these over on the vinyl stair posts. One problem with this light base is that the vinyl has rounded corners, but this base has square corners. I could have just set it on top without the base, but that didn't seem very secure. I thought about adding a string with a bag of rocks to hold it in the vinyl, but that seemed a little bit excessive. So to make sure that it could fit inside those vinyl tops, I just cut off the corners with a pair of snips. Then went back outside and tried to fit, and it seemed to fit just perfect. I wanted to make sure that in case it slid too far down, I wouldn't lose the base, and with the railings there, that didn't seem to be a problem. So I took them off the post and decided to do them all on the vinyl. Then it was just a matter of making sure it was turned on, attaching it to the base, and then sliding it into the top of the vinyl post. And with the corner snipped off, it slipped in there quite nicely. Just slide it till it was snug and that's it. Some posts were easier than others. Not all had the exact perfect same shape, so you could try shaving off the edge with the knife. Or something that I found useful on this one is taking one of these clamps and going an inch or two below the top, squeezing it, and that expanded the hole in the top so I could slide it in. That worked out pretty well. And to commemorate the completion of this project, here is a song that me and my young cinematographer made. 
Overall, these are not smart lights, you can't really control them, but for fence posts or for stairs or something that you always want lit up at night, these, especially being solar powered, were great. Tyler Studio.